Welcome. My name is Chief Marcellos. I'm from Salt River First Nation, and I want to welcome you to the traditional territory of Salt River First Nation and Akechi Territory. The people of Salt River are truly connected with the land. We come from a very incredible community. It's very clean with, uh, with the water, with the clean air, with the atmosphere and the beauty and uh, being able to accomplish anything you want in education or in life. It's all there and um, just have to want it. We always talk about balanced development and protecting the environment. Uh, we're very fortunate where we live in the Northwest Territories that we're able to achieve anything we want if you really want it. We have the only Petro-Canada gas bar in the Northwest Territories fully serviced. And we have the only Tim Hortons out of Yellowknife. That's pretty incredible. And uh, you know, and this is just the start. The second largest park in the world is situated in Fort Smith. We have the buffalo that run wild. We have the pelicans that nest there and come back every year. And we also have the whooping cranes. And the whooping cranes are not only in the park, but they are also on reserve lands. The building will be used not only by Salt River, but by the community and hopefully by the Northwest Territories. We have a cultural center in the building also, and uh, we want to do programming in, in our own languages. We want to be able to do all the other cultural things that uh, we weren't able to do before. I knew the community will be coming together in this place because I come from an amazing community. The extra part of it with the uh, courthouse that we were able to get a lease for from the government of the Northwest Territories that will also supplement what we have in the building for growth. I think the opening itself was uh, a testament to the work that was being done at Salt River. The people of the community wanted to come out and thank us for moving forward, for providing another economic opportunity for the community. A lot of the elders and young people and the community would be able to listen to a concert at home uh, and, uh, and have that aspect of education that we did not have before. The majority of the people of that community support Salt River with this beautiful building. Uh, I'm ecstatic. I think uh, this is a watershed uh, moment in the history of Salt River. I think it uh, shows that the First Nation is uh, committed to uh, responsible leadership. It gives the First Nation some independence from government. Um, some self-reliance, uh, some pride in doing their own projects based on their own revenues, working with an organization like First Nations Finance Authority that's there to help First Nations uh, achieve their dreams. Well, I'm very impressed. This building is a good example of how we can work together, the Salt River First Nation through treaty land entitlement. Uh, this is a special moment for me tonight because the land that this building on was owned by my grandparents, my mushroom and my grandmother. 
the big tree that, that that's in the great hall here was is a, you know pays tribute or respect I guess to our family because this was a big tree. Everyone in the Northwest Territories always come and had a good look at it, particularly at Christmas time. This is it. I mean, this is what possible for other Dene communities that you follow something like the Salt River plan. It could be possible for their communities. Well, I think it's uh, it's kind of an icon building, and I think it's going to be important because it's going to show our member, our younger generation, our younger leadership that this can happen. You can do bigger things yet. For the people in the future, I think you know, enjoy the building, look after it, and uh, don't stop here. Well, this, this community center is, is really, truly a landmark, sitting in a really ideal location. When you come down the road this way, you see this building. You come down that way, you see it. It's just, it's just magnificent. It's beautiful. And I really, really, truly feel proud to be a part of this project and to, you know, to really believe in the possibility of doing something because without that, you, know, it's, it's, you can't do it. Transparency and accountability is very important. That it's probably the most important thing that anybody could ever learn in leadership. And, uh, and I'm sure that uh, when we look back and go back through the years and uh, look back to all what we've done, we will always remember that.